Thank you very much, uh, madam, for allowing me to draw the attention of this house to a very important issue regarding my constituency. Uh, madam, the Choling and Nallur Assembly constituency in my South Chennai uh, Amberla constituency is a densely populated uh, constituency, especially with the uh, resettlement tenements which spreads in Perimbakkam, Chemanjeri, and Kannaginagar. And the nearest one stop center is 45 kilometers away in Chengalpattu, which makes the interventions really difficult to help the victims, the women victims, and the child victims. So, what I would like uh, to request to the Honorable Minister of Women and Child Development through uh, you is that a one stop center should be installed not only in those areas in the Sholing and Allure zone, but also since I have a longer fisherman coast, the issues of fishermen being attacked, their boats confiscated and killed have now been raised by two DMK members now. What about the plight of the wives of those fishermen, the trauma they face? So I want another one-stop center in the Nochikupam area also. So I urge you, because the government of Tamil Nadu, one minute, the government of Tamil Nadu, under the able leadership of our chief minister, has been enacting lot of acts regarding the safety and security of women, the Toli Women Hospitals, the 181 helpline around the 24-7, or important one to Dhanibad mention Manimisa, a few. Please. So please, I urge the union government to immediately sanction these two one-stop centers, not only sanctioning, but a lot of funds also to expedite the process. TM, Selva Ganpati ji. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. This is a very important survival issue of the Tamil fishermen in Tamil Nadu. Madam, there are about almost 87 fishermen are long leasing in the jails of various jails of Sri Lanka. And there are 175 boats which was captured by the Sri Lankan Navy has kept for years together in the Sri Lankan land. <coughs> Madam, on August 1st, to all our surprise, our Tamil fishermen were attacked brutally by the Sri Lankan Navy and the boats got capsized, Madam, which is never in the order. Madam, never it's an international agreement. The criminality of the Sri Lankan Navy, which has to be taken note by the government of India. Madam, our Honorable Dynamic Chief Minister has been time and again writing to the Government of India detailing the plight of the Tamil fishermen and their problem they face with the Indian Army. Madam, I would like to draw the attention of the Government. There is a strong presence of Coast Guard and Indian Navy and the headquarters at Madras. What are they doing? They become a silent spectator. They don't swing into action when their own fishermen are attacked. This, 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 you know, time and again the Chief Minister has been writing to the Government of India, but in vain. But Madam, I would like to point out there is an agreement in the year 1977, a sovereign agreement between India and Sri Lanka, providing a right of drying their net in Kachatibu, which means right of Fishing is also allowed as per the international agreement. But whereas in 76, two of the joint secretaries of the government had absolutely turned over the sovereign agreement entered into between two countries and removed the clause of right to dry the nets in Kachatim. This is the problem now. This is because of which the Indian fisherman is going to go to the extent of killing the Indian fisherman. So I draw the attention of the government that there must be a diplomatic effort to form a committee and all those who are languishing in the jail with the presence of the representatives of the fishermen, they must visit the jail and know the condition. There are reports that they have been brutally attacked time and again and the boats are getting damaged after four years, six years, seven years, the boats are released. There is no Dhanibad, use. Dhanibad, Madam, this is a serious issue. Yes. With the government of India must take up, now the external minister is going to 
give a statement in the house in the afternoon he must address and respond to this also dhanyawad malini sir this all those things the committee has to be formed madam to visit sri lanka and meet the in the tamil fish after all they are contributing to the nation's wealth 7 to 8% of the wealth is given by them by export malini sir this kind of fishing stream is done by the fishermen of the please, tamil nadu please please yes ma'am thank, thank you ma'am uh it it's not only that uh, the boats are confiscated uh just this year alone 27 boats have been confiscated taken away by the uh, sri lankan uh, navy and uh, uh, around 177 indian boats are uh, have been taken away at present it is with the uh, sri lankan government and it's nationalized they make it their own the boats are never given back um Uh, now back to the indian fishermen uh, after, even after uh, where they are being released from the prisons and even yesterday in my constituency thootukudi uh, fishermen in from tarvaikulam two boats have been attacked by the uh, sri lankan navy and 22 fishermen have been arrested and taken away yesterday after um, our uh, government has raised a concern about what happened recently so we have to find a um, solution to this problem for fishermen Thik. from tamil nadu can't keep suffering again and again like this thank you dhanyawad manu sir sri amani ji மாண்புமிகு பேரவைத் தலைவர் அவர்களே தருமபுரி நாடாளுமன்ற தொகுதியிலிருந்து தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்ற எனது சார்பாகவும் எனது தொகுதி மக்களின் சார்பாகவும் முதலில் உங்களுக்கு நன்றி கலந்த வணக்கத்தினை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றேன் தமிழ்நாட்டில் தருமபுரி மாவட்ட எல்லையான ஒகேனக்கல் என்ற இடத்தில் குடகமலையில் இருந்து தோன்றுகின்ற காவிரி ஆறு வந்து கலக்கின்றது இந்த காவிரி ஆறு ஒகேனக்கல் என்ற இடத்தில் நீர்வீழ்ச்சியாக தோன்றுகிறது அந்த நீர்வீழ்ச்சி மிகவும் அபரிதமான சாத்தியக்கூறுகளை மாண்புமிகு சுற்றுலாத்துறை அமைச்சர் அவர்கள் கவனத்திற்கு கொண்டு வர விரும்புகின்றேன் பேரவைத் தலைவர் அவர்களே கடந்த ஜனவரி முதல் ஜூலை வரையில் ஆறு மாதங்களில் மட்டும் முப்பத்தைந்து லட்சத்துக்கும் அதிகமான மக்கள் இந்த நீர்வீழ்ச்சிக்கு வந்து சென்றிருக்கின்றார்கள் ஆண்டொன்றுக்கு ஒரு கோடிக்கும் அதிகமான மக்கள் இந்த நீர்வீழ்ச்சிக்கு வருவதற்குண்டான வாய்ப்புகள் இருக்கின்றது மாண்புமிகு பேரவைத் தலைவர் அவர்களே இந்த ஒகேனக்கல் நீர்வீழ்ச்சியில் ரோப் கார் வசதி விசைப்படகு சவாரி உயிரியல் பூங்கா மசாஜ் மையங்கள் மீன் உணவு கூடங்கள் பல்வேறு சாத்தியக்கூறுகள் அடங்கிய ஒரு சுற்றுலாத்தலம் ஆகவே இதை உலக தரம் வாய்ந்த சுற்றுலாத்தலமாக மாற்றி தர மத்திய அமைச்சு முன் வர வேண்டும் என்று கேட்டுக்கொள்கின்றேன் நன்றி கலாமதி வீரா சாமி Sir. sir thank you very much sir sir uh, i would like to bring to the notice of this house that there are several uh, all india civil services which are functioning sir like indian administrative service indian railway service indian police service we have 20 such services in this country and it has been a long pending demand from the medical fraternity that Healthcare is one of the biggest subjects in this country, sir. We have a budget allocation of probably less than two percent of our budget is allocated towards healthcare, whereas the recommendation was six percent, sir. So three lakh crores should have been the budget allocation. But if you look at the services, the people who are coming. to work under these services are people who do not have any kind of a medical background so similar to what you have in i forest services or foreign services we wish to have an indian medical service where preferably somebody from a medical background either mbbs doctors or bds doctors can be selected so that the healthcare delivery can be much better because when you have an administrative person coming into a hospital or a healthcare department it is difficult for them to understand the problems which are being faced sir especially if you look at it all statistics whatever we have be it about anemia or even about a lot of these uh, vitamin d we have issues where we are taking only western standards sir we do not have an indian related so okay. to do some research like this if Simati. somebody from the medical fraternity is there it will be very helpful Anita sir thank you